Hello and welcome to this tech tip video. Today we wanted to show you how to run a quick descriptive statistics procedure in IBM SPSS statistics. My name is Astrid Cook and I'm an analyst here at version one. Now we often get the question, is there a quick way to run a descriptive statistics table or procedure in IBM SPSS statistics? And the answer is yes, there's a quick way to do this. What we use is the descriptives procedure, and this will give us a summary overview of our data. So we'll pick the variables we want to include, and we can see the counts, we can see the minimum, the maximum, the average, and we can see standard deviation. So let's see what this looks like in SPSS. So I'm in SPSS, and I'll go on the Analyze menu, come down to Descriptive Statistics, and pick up Descriptives. Now to get started, I want to look at age and years of education. And there's an options button here, so I'll click on the options button and you can see the descriptives, the options, so I can ask for the mean, the sum, standard deviation, variance, range, minimum, maximum, standard error of the mean, and also kurtosis and skewness. I can control the display order as well. Now for the minute, I'll just click continue. I can also, if I want, save standardized values as variables. For now, all I want to do is just click OK and run this. And you can see, I can see the number of respondents who provided their age here. I can see the minimum value of age, the maximum value of age, average age, and the standard deviation. And I can see again, high school school completed, the minimum, the maximum, average, and then standard deviation. And it also gives me list wise. So I just want to double click and open this up. Now don't forget, you can always click on something in a table and ask, what's this? It tells me this is the number of valid cases after cases with missing values for any selected variable have been excluded. So this is showing me that 2,816 respondents provided information on both questions. So that's everything we wanted to show you today. For more tech tips, you can go to the tech tips section within the Learning Hub. You can contact us at spssadmin at version1.com. You can phone us and you can check out our website at www.spssanalyticspartner.com. So thanks for watching and bye for now.